G'day guys. Um, I right, come to come to the truck. Had a lot of interest on the, all of our across all our socials, and had a lot of requests to give a rundown of the truck. We're using it as our full-time tour, so we'll give it a go. We'll show you what we've what we've done, what we've got, what it is, and just give you the ins and outs of the old girl. Um, so first of all, it's a 2019 Ram 1500 Express Crew Cab. Um, it's a 5.7 litre Hemi petrol. Yeah, it's not a diesel, um, but it is what it is. Um, absolutely beautiful car to drive, absolutely love it. Um, as you can tell, there's a we've done a fair bit to it to make it one of the baddest touring rigs on the road. Um, haven't spared any expense. Um, you try to use the highest quality products we can for longevity of our use. We plan on doing it, using it for a while, so you know we'll get stuck into it. Um, I'll just grab the camera and I'll bring you bring you underneath here for a sec. So one thing with the um, with the Dodge trucks is they've got a plastic sump, which is far from ideal. So I'll swing around under here. We're going to custom off-road and we've got a full set of back plates that go all the way back there. They have full four mil stainless. Um, they protect pretty much halfway down the truck. Um, they're, they're, they're a heavy bit of kit, but um, in our case they're essential, I think. Um, we just didn't really have a choice but to put them on and I'm absolutely stoked with how they went on and come out. So. I guess you know. I guess from there, because we're planning on we're planning on doing heaps of off-roading in this thing, so it's not just for for the tarmac. We're built it strong to put it through its paces, hopefully. Um, and from there, we step up. We got the uh, off-road animal predator bar, um, which, in my opinion, is the best-looking bar on the market for the Ram 1500s. Um, Absolutely superb quality. Uh, can't fold it, to be honest. It's got uses the custom fog lights, but comes with a built-in light bar there. We've added the UltraVision nine-inch lights, nine-inch driving lights. They are amazing. These are the yellow, which I think is a 4K. I think. I don't quote me on it, but instead of being bright white, they're yellow to reduce the glare back off the signs you see anyone that's got driving lights knows what i'm talking about um and in here we got the worn seven and a half thousand pound winch she's a she's a big girl but with a getting close to four ton van if we get one thing bogged we want to be able to if we get bogged as a combination we want to be able to pull it out so the guys from um, all barred up, 4x4 four four in Albion Park. They fitted all this, That's what was, that was their recommendation. We went with it and uh, yeah, we're giving it a try out. She's uh, pretty awesome. We got the Uniden Shorty Aerial hanging off the front here. We'll, when we get inside, we'll show you a little bit more on that. But um, it's uh, not quite sure on the Hertz on that one, but I, I, not the, it hasn't got the longest range, but for looks and for what we're going to need it for, it, it's fine. Uh, it'll be, it'll do everything we need to do. So, then if we swing around here, we got a set of flares because the tyres ended up a bit wide, so we had to run flares. And we changed out the, they come stock with 20 inch rims on the rams. We've gone to a fuel 18 inch and put 29570 18s, which are just under 35s. Um, so absolutely nothing for our fuel economy, but I just want to be able to drop air out of them, get on the beach. If we do, some, when we do some serious four wheel driving, be able to drop them down if we need to drop them down to that 10 pound. And um, yeah, they, they're awesome, I like them. Uh, then we've got, set up, we've got an SCD snorkel stainless snorkel, four inch snorkel, which anyone knows anything about the 1500s, 
with the when the conversion with the conversion from America and left to right hand drive, the airbox inside gets very tight. So these one these are the only snorkel I could find on the market that do a straight adaption to the standard airbox. Otherwise, you had to get a custom airbox made, um, which I didn't really want to go down that route. So we've got this powder coat of black. Um, and it's a great quality product. One of our local 4x4 guys fitted it for me. Um, these big kit comes with a little bracket to send your aerial out a bit wider because obviously it gets in the way. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. Pretty loud coming straight out the driver's side, but um, with the aircon up and with the windows up and the aircon on, not really an issue. Um, then we move down, just factory side steps. Tinted windows, obviously. Um, then we come back to the pride and joy. This we got the it's a 2100 tray essentially with an 1800 canopy on it, made by Elite, Elite Fabrications in Unandera, um, and they have done they have knocked this out of the park. Um, value for money and quality. I cannot fold it, and we are over the moon with how this thing's turned out. Um, yeah, so it's got a few specs on the canopy, like I said, it's 2100 long with 1800 canopy, one to keep our weights down and two because I didn't want the spare wheel, which we'll get around to that, hanging off the back and bouncing too much. It's got a platform on top, which we've obviously put the, use the Rhino Rack uh, Stowits they're called, they're lockable for holding the shovel. Um, it's a two door with under toolboxes underneath. This one's just got my chainsaw and some of the awning bits. You would have um, this one. This one's got a water pump, um, which just runs on a little rocker switch here, which is a 20 liter a minute pump. Uh, it's got an air compressor in there. The canopy, the, it's got a 70 litre water tank. So, which is cool, because when we go off road, 70 litres of fresh water is pretty handy. Um, comes with the building flares, which if we do any tight four wheel driving, I can take these off. Uh, I don't know if I will, but they will just drop off. Um, so watch this space. If you end up seeing this thing going down gunshot, they may not be on it, but we'll, we'll work that out when we get up there. Um, Oh, actually, while I'm here, I'm thinking about it, the first thing that we done when we got the car was when we took it to all barred up, was we got a GVM upgrade. Obviously, this thing's a lot heavier than standard, so we got, it's a Tough Dog 2-inch lift with airbag assist in the rear, and it's a 3880 kilo GVM upgrade from the standard 3460, I think it is. Um, don't, again, don't quote me, I could be wrong, but it's about a 400 kilo upgrade. So that keeps us pretty safe with our weights, which as everyone knows these days is a pretty big thing. We've been very conscious about only adding what we need to to get our weights be legal and be safe. I mean, you can't you can't not be safe. Um, and if, if you're out there just cowboying it and going way over weights, then you're an idiot basically. But Anyway, so yeah, we've got the, we've got that. We just just kept the standard exhaust. One, the only thing we the only thing we did to it is if I swing around here, is we just tucked it in behind the um, behind the tow bar from factory. When you when we put the canopy on it, it used to come down the side here, and they were pretty ugly. So we just put kept. To just put the tuck the exhaust in there just to make it a little bit neater for no other purpose other than that. Um, yeah, so on the back we got the spare mounted to the mounted to the canopy. Um, I've gotten rid of this factory spare underneath, which has allowed me to run the exhaust like that and a cuss down on a bit of weight. That way, there's no good to us anyway. So, um, and then from there, so this little this one in here, this is uh, I'll get to the. 12 volt fit out inside it in a minute, but that's the uh, shore power to run through that through the charger to charge our batteries up. Um, so we got the ladder, 
obviously, which again, high quality bit of gear that just clips down there. So, even Haley's little short ass can get up there. Um, it's solid as a rock, like, I'm not the smallest bloke on the planet, and I can get up there and down there. It doesn't even look like flexing or moving. Then we swing around, it's got a absolutely enormous trundle drawer in it. Which in that we've just stored fire pits and just bits and pieces that are gonna smell or that we don't want inside the cabin or inside the canopy. Um, but yeah, so no, it's it's awesome. Really smooth. Two two um, two locking locations, clips in, it's perfect. Um, then obviously our van is the we tow is about 3.7 ish ton so we're going with the Kurt Rebellion hitch which it's got a um, little shocker in there just a rubber mount that when the so when the van stops it has a little bit of compression in there absolutely sensational I love it um, it's got a 680 kilo tongue mass um, yeah absolutely you can buy the locking kits for it so people can't take it uh, we'll fit a standard 50 mil um, draw, uh, tow bar. It's yeah, very impressed with it. Um, having it comes with a six-inch drop, so there's plenty of variation. The only thing you can't do with this one, which you can do on a few of them, is you can't turn it upside down. So if you need to come up, then this is no good for you because obviously the shock's not going to work how it should. But um, it's paired with our DO45 hitch, uh, which we needed. For the van, because the van's got a uh, ATM of four and a half ton, um, we had to get the bigger, uh, bigger hitch. Um, but yeah, the DO45, DO35s, they're yeah, they're about as good as they get really. Um, they're amazing. But in a future episode, we'll give you a rundown of the van and we'll show you all through that. Uh, Jerry Key and Alda, all LED replacement lights. The comes with the, all the sensors of the original as they would be um, just down here we've got Anderson plugs that's just the hydraulic brakes for the caravan uh, DC DC charger your normal 12 pin plug so nothing special going on there but um, yeah jerry can older as we said uh, this is a rear view camera anyone that's driven a ute with a canopy on it knows there's not a whole lot of vision so we got the Rear view camera here, this is just a work light, which I can, got switched inside, so if we're reversing, I can turn it on, flood the area of light. Or if we're setting up camp or need it just while we're at it, while we're out of camp, staying out of the truck, then turn that on. It absolutely floods the place with light and it's awesome. Uh, I'll drop this back down, I'll give you a quick look up on top. Just, I'll grab this. So, swing up here. Oh. I swing around, we just got up here. We got four Max tracks mounted up on here. It's all on Unistrut. Um, surfboards live up here normally. I just got them down at the moment because I need to put just a pole carrier up here to carry some fishing rods. Um, super strong brackets for the uh, bushwhacker awning. And obviously all powder coated and again, best quality. And if you swing up here, we've got the 270 Bushwhacker Extreme Darkness awning. Um, it's a good, real good quality product. Literally three minutes to set it up. Um, you see the, this end over the side there, there's a just a pulley system that tightens it all up. It's 98% poleless. It, so I reckon it takes a bloody lot of wind for it to need to put a pole down and actually secure it. So it's about 98% freestanding. There is the pole here if you, but when it does get windy, it falls down. There's some, comes with, comes with your ropes. Um, there's a little bag here that you can put your wet bits and pieces in, towels and whatnot that you can just hang up on the, hang up on here. Um, all really good quality products. Uh, heaps, heaps of shade. So, and cover, waterproof. Um, they're more than happy with this one, so.
up here there's lights two different switches one for your one for your bright and then you can turn them off and then you just got your amber keep the bugs away which is when you're out in midgy country or not very very handy to have so we'll come around this side another box that's just got chairs in it and this one all our recovery gear goes in here petrol petrol filler which is nice being out of the way um they no these don't have any sorts of locks on them so on the standard fuel filler from factory on a ram so to be able to hide here and lock it away is kind of handy i like that idea um yeah, so that's about it down this side um on the outside of the truck um but yeah super stoked with how it's all come up and perfectly practical to our needs um but i'll open her up give a look in have a look in the engine room this is where all the this is where all the magic happens in here so we got central locking um lights on lights on either side we'll just swing you around the other side in a minute but yeah lights on there they just run your amber and all the whatnot dimmable their broom we got the bushman's 85 litre upright um come up neat as a pin so nothing in there at the moment but she's uh gonna be well used then in here we've just got the tray this is where probably all our batteries and gopros and whatnot will be stored there'll be some power here so we can charge all our batteries all the time um and here we've got just a big drawer like a real deep drawer and this has got our induction cooker and um we'll keep food and whatnot in here when we go and live out of the truck and then a slide our table so we prep work and put the induction on it um yeah so super stoked with how that's come up to um again the guys from the lighter just knocked this out of the park we could not be happier with how it's come up um and yeah we're absolutely loving it but we'll just swing back around this side um, this side we kept pretty basic. We haven't really put anything in here. One for weight and two because we didn't really need it. We could have put drawers and whatnot, but um, we didn't. We just kept this all open. I've just got some fishing rod holders up here. But yeah, while I'm while I'm here, we've got a 200 amp hour lithium battery, um, a 2000 watt Enerdrive inverter which has got the changeovers, the safeties. We can run PowerPoint straight off that if we need to. Um, we're going with the Red Arc Manager 30 battery, which it charges all your AC, solar, and DC, DC are all in that one unit, which is the main reason we went with the Red Arc one. And plus they're absolutely amazing quality um that's just a sh that's a shunt to send signal to the red arc screen to tell you how much load you've got coming in how much solar and whatnot um but yeah again we kept it fairly simple we've gone the best quality products but we haven't gone overboard on it we didn't put anything we didn't need um but put everything we did so and up here is uh Lights for this side, so we've got one out here and then one in the center. Again, dimmable with your amber and white lights. Um, yeah, so high, real high quality seals on everything, dust proof, waterproof. Um, the matting just stop everything sliding around, stop your damaging. It's got it has got a false floor, and all this can come off. So, we need to add any more 12 volt stuff later. This all comes off, it's all hidden in behind um but yeah yeah super stoked with how this whole thing's come up and with this is basically our shed when you're living on the road and spaces of a minimum this is pretty much our shed so um let's shut this back down good quality locks um uh, we'll come inside there's not anyone that knows about the rams especially the expresses there's not much to them 
they're pretty basic you don't get a whole lot but again that's appealed to us in a way that there's less things to break down go wrong um so up front here we just got the i'll just grab this off Haley. so yeah, we're jumping here up here we got the uniden um uhf they're just our switches for the camera and our driving lights and whatnot um everything else is pretty basic it's got a but well, just that's just car junk in there that'll get sorted out but um it's very, real real basic but does everything we need it to that's a safety dave screen for the camera on the back of the caravan um we got custom made seat covers just to keep the dirt and crap out going with some genuine ram high quality um floor mats again keep the dirt and whatnot out and in the back here just got the bench seat um the seats are way back there is more room than that but underneath plenty of under seat storage so we've got first aid kit just some spares for the some tools um again the high quality floor mats right through the back and the navigator seat card is for the kids to keep all their tablets ipads and whatnot of all that organizing out of the way when they're not uh, I don't know, when we're driving down the road spending hours driving if we will be but yeah so anyway that's basically the uh basically it um again super stoked with what we've put together uh, it's absolute beast of a rig um, for what we need it for follow along and you'll see this see the big girl in action a lot in our coming videos so yeah just can't wait to get out and give it a give her a good workout actually so you know we'll sign off at that and hope if you like what you're seeing give us a like subscribe hit the notification button and follow along I'm more than happy to have you if you've got any questions drop me in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can but righto see you guys